Glebe House is one of three high-quality purpose-built homes owned and operated by Bristol Care Homes, whose founding vision is to provide excellence in all aspects of care to enable a fulfilled and happy lifestyle for all its residents. Situated within the peaceful village setting of Lower Ormondsbury, the picturesque church of St Mary dominates the skyline from the beautifully kept gardens at Glebe House, along with panoramic views across the Severn estuary. Originally built as a vicarage at the turn of the century, the home has many beautiful period features, such as its warm entrance door, its restored stained glass window, and its majestic staircase and period reception rooms. Glebe House has been open nearly 15 years, so it's a long experience and things change in that time, including some of the requirements for provision. For example, when we started off those years ago, there was a demand for some double rooms. Perhaps a husband and wife might come in and use a double room, perhaps a couple of sisters or, in some cases, friends. That demand has almost disappeared now, so when we build another new home, we build it with few, if any, uh, double rooms and we've reconfigured many of our double rooms here at Glebe House. So I did research in the Bristol area and visited a large number of care homes and could see that there was a need for something of high quality and at the time the various government commissions were insisting on higher quality in provision and we decided that we would come in with new provision at a very high quality. So we were looking for something that wasn't exactly five-star because I don't think most people want to actually live in a five-star hotel, but something that was a homely version of five-star, a sort of four-star target, but in, that's in terms of the home itself, but in terms of the care, to provide absolutely excellent care for the elderly. Glebe House offers a choice of well-appointed bedrooms, the majority with private toilet facilities. The rooms are fully furnished and equipped with electric profiling beds, height-adjustable chairs, along with televisions, DVD player, direct line telephone and wireless internet access. Residents are also encouraged, wherever possible, to personalise their rooms with some of their own possessions. All residents have access to specialist bathing facilities, including high-technology baths and walk-in showers, which allow for a choice of bathing and state-of-the-art comfort. The 24-7 air circulation throughout the home ensures that the atmosphere is always kept fresh. Bristol Care Homes also provide a customised Action 3 wheelchair for every resident with an identified need, ensuring that the individual resident is completely supported in comfort and with dignity. My daughter and I uh, were looking around all the, the care homes in the area because we didn't know anything about them. Um, and if, if we came, somebody told us about Glebe, I can't remember. And it was, it was partly um, the welcome we got and, and partly the actual house itself that sold us for it. It was very difficult to get in then it was because it was so popular. But uh, we, we, we were lucky and managed to get uh, Liz in here. I, I think, to think about the house itself, it's, it's actually the position. That it's, a, it's, a, it's like a country, country house, you know, the, the gardens are wonderful, the views are fantastic. It's, it's, it's an old building, obviously, apart from the uh, extension they built, but it is an old building and it's got this, to me, it's warm. Some of the other care homes I went to were, you know, a bit clinical, a bit modern, but this, this is... You know, this is lovely, yeah. I think, I think it's the setting more than anything else. You know, you, you always, if you don't, I mean, we get out as much as we can and it's just nice to go out and sit out in the grounds. We have also uh, put a lot of emphasis on our activities, including outside trips. So we this year replaced our minibus with a £45,000 brand new air conditioned top of the range minibus, perfectly adapted for trips outside. And we run trips through the summer period on a daily basis across our group of homes. Uh, we've also recently computerised our care planning system. 
because with the best will in the world, you know, nurses and carers are very busy when they're operating day by day, and getting the care plan updated manually um, is difficult, and it's difficult to always write clearly, find the right pen, and so on. So um, to maintain accuracy, legibility, and, and an audit trail of our care, because we always want to be open to scrutiny, uh, we've computerized our care planning system. So there are a number of areas like that in which we've invested in design and in technology and in the level of care we bring personally to make sure that we have a leading edge and are always leading the way um, in care home provision, looking for innovative ways in which we can enhance our standards. Safety and security of the residents is of paramount importance and the safety systems in place include door entry panels, alarmed exits, state-of-the-art fire prevention and detection equipment and both fixed and mobile nurse call systems. There are registered nurses on duty at all times, together with a team of carers who provide all personal and nursing care as appropriate to each resident, with the aim of maintaining resident independence as far as possible. Commitment to ongoing training and development of staff ensures that care knowledge remains current and there is continual motivation to achieve excellence in care. There are huge armies of carers in the, in the country, in good care homes giving very high quality care, sometimes into situations that are rather distressing. Um, old age does bring some distressing loss of function at times. So we aim to care for those situations in life with utmost respect and with great dignity to the person concerned. We have had people working for us all of that period of time, so one of the things that we're proud of is the staff retention that we've achieved. We make sure, for example, that our chef visits each of the residents each day to see what they want for their meal the following day, there's menu choice and so on. So those kind of interactions um, are very important for people. And then lunch is a major activity. You know, people come together into the various dining rooms that we've got and lunch is a very enjoyable occasion for them to be able to meet other people and um, to chat to some regular friends, uh, just to enjoy the social occasion of the lunch as well as the quality of the food that Marie, our chef, and her team prepare. So the afternoons we'll then look at um, activities. So we have regular activities going on. Now again, people are free to join them or not. Sometimes someone might feel tired or disinclined and want to go back to their room, that's fine. Um, others will join in the activity. It might be a visiting music group or a presentation or a talk or indeed a minibus going out and a trip up onto the downs in Bristol and a stop at the ice cream van. Um, and there are events on like Summer Fates, um, like celebration events of various kinds when somebody has a birthday for example. So we make the most of life.